All right, what's going on, guys? So if you guys are anything like me, you probably spent last night watching what I can only describe as probably the worst boxing event of all time. And I don't necessarily just mean the fights, even though the fights weren't great. We'll get to that. I just mean that the whole event in general was pretty strange. And of course, I'm talking about the Jake Paul versus Ben Askren fight. Now, thankfully, I did not pay the, I believe it was $50 pay-per-view to watch this. Anyone that paid for this, I feel bad for you, man. You got finessed. Like, you should have known, though. You know what I mean? Like, you coming out here paying $50 for a Jake Paul pay-per-view, like, you should know better than that, man. I feel like I got robbed, and I didn't even spend any money, and I still feel that way so I can only imagine how other people must feel but every aspect of the event was just so unprofessional it, it really gave me a new appreciation for how like the UFC and actual boxing does their events I was like wow there is definitely a major difference here so I mean first of all it just looked pretty bad, like the production value of it was pretty poor, like it wasn't filmed well, I didn't think the venue looked good, like just everything about it, like the ring, the background, the environment in general, like all of it, just very poorly done, and honestly, I can get over that, you know what I mean, I'm not gonna be too upset about that, at the end of the day, that's not what's important, that's not what we're there for, but the actual content itself did not make things any better. It was basically a four hour event, but the thing is, there was only four fights. So right away, the math does not add up. Like it's hard to make four fights last for four hours. So if I had to estimate the total amount of actual time spent on fighting, probably about 30 minutes or so. Like that leaves us with about three and a half hours left of other empty space that they had to fill up and well it was a variety of different things mainly I would say that it was like a concert but the thing is like dude we're not here to see Justin Bieber like no offense to Justin Bieber but like I don't care man I'm not here to see you perform at all I'm here to see a fight and instead of seeing a fight I'm seeing like 15 different people perform, none of which I care about. Like, I just don't care. And then on top of that, they had Pete Davidson, who was like, I don't know, hosting the event, I guess you could say. So they kept showing him like doing random stuff backstage. Like he went to the locker room and he tried to like talk to Jake Paul before the fight. I don't know what that was. It was like the most awkward combo that I've ever seen. And then he went and got like Ric Flair and brought him out to be like a, I don't know, referee between these two giant like professional slap boxers or something so they just sat there and slapped each other for about 20 minutes like it was just a bunch of random shit like I don't know who these people are I don't know why they're slapping each other like I, I really don't know what was going on there like it, it felt like they were just trying all sorts of random stuff to fill in the gaps between the actual fights and then we get to the actual fights and they were terrible like the fight before the main event th this was actually mind-blowing to me this is crazy right the guy fakes getting hit in the nuts like he got hit with like a body shot it wasn't even like a crazy shot or anything and he pretends that he gets hit in the nuts when we can all clearly see on the replay like like keep in mind this is being filmed it's being televised like we can all see you bro like you can't hide from the truth man but he fakes that he got hit in the nuts and then on top of that this guy has to get stretchered out of the ring. Like, they picked him up and put him on a stretcher as if he was a car accident victim or something. Like, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Like, I was actually triggered when I saw that. So now, it's time for the main event. After three hours of waiting for all this garbage, we finally get what we're here for, right? We get the Ben Askren versus Jake Paul fight. First off, 
Buffer pronounces Ben's name wrong when they're announcing the fighters. So that's when you know it's chalked. When the announcer doesn't even take the time to learn the correct pronunciation of the guy's name. Like, that's how you know the event is just chalked, man. The fight starts, and the first thing you hear them say is that Ben is built like a bag of milk. Which, I mean, listen, you're not wrong, okay? You're not wrong, but... Come on, man, like, can we get some sort of professionalism? Is that too much to ask for? I don't know who the commentators were. It was like Snoop Dogg, Oscar De La Hoya, Mario Lopez, and I think maybe like one or two more, I don't know. Oscar was either drunk or high, probably both. That guy had no idea what he was even saying. Like, I don't know what was going on there. And then Snoop, like, he just don't care, man. He just there for a good time. I don't think he cares about any of this. Honestly, like, based off of everything, that I saw, I don't think anybody took this event seriously other than Jake Paul. So let's talk about the actual fight. So as you probably know by now, you've probably seen the clip at the very least, Jake Paul KOs Ben Askren in the first round. Now, first of all, I did not bet on this fight because... I had about 0% confidence in Ben Askren, but at the same time, I'm not putting my money on Jake Paul. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's just no way I'm taking money out of my bank account and putting it on Jake Paul, okay? That's just not happening. So I didn't really care who won this fight. I had nothing on it. Whoever wins, go ahead. Cool, I was just hoping that it wouldn't be terrible. That being said, it was terrible. Now, I don't want to use the word rigged because I think that's a little strong. It was definitely a little weird, a little bit fishy. Number one, obviously, I will admit, yes, Ben looked terrible, but like, we know this already. Like, if you follow MMA, you know Ben can't box, but he looked even worse than I expected, to be honest. But even still, the best case scenario you could describe this fight with was probably early stoppage. Worst case, it was just completely rigged from the start. Would Ben have won if the fight continued? Probably not. Actually, I'd say definitely not. Like, obviously, he wasn't going to win. But they didn't even really give it a chance at all. Like, they stopped it right away. Ben isn't Nate Robinson. He's not just, like, some dude who's like, oh, let me try out box. Like, this is an actual fighter. Like, he's been hit before a lot worse than that. Like, we all watched Robbie Lawler pick this guy up slam him on his head, and then punch him like 25 times in the face. And I promise you, Robbie Lawler hits a lot harder than Jake Paul. So I just found the situation a little bit weird. And then what really did it for me, like this is what really confirmed that something weird happened here because after the fight, they showed the video of Ben Askren walking back to the locker room. I'll put a picture up on the screen, but it's him and his wife walking back and they are just like laughing and having a good old time, all smiles, like they don't give a fuck about any of this. Like they knew this was just an easy payday they didn't care about this fight at all and, and that's what really makes me question how bad this knockout really even was you know what I mean because I've seen like hundreds of KOs whether it be in like MMA or boxing whatever like I've seen so many people get KO'd over the years nobody walks back to the locker room happy like that like oh haha I just got KO'd oh well like no big deal like everyone is like devastated after that you know what I mean but this dude and his wife are walking back like chilling like they don't give two fucks about anything so that's definitely a little bit weird. So once again, I don't know if I want to use the word rigged. That's a strong word to use, but definitely a weird situation. But yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on the fight. Overall, I'd give it about a 3 out of 10 for the overall entire event, how it went. Definitely not worth watching the whole thing. You'd be much better off just going on YouTube or wherever and seeing the highlights, which is what we all should have done, but instead we got scammed. So we live and we learn. Next time, hopefully we will make better life choices. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Check out my last video if you missed it. We uh, took a look at some of the replies to uh, Riley Reed announcing her engagement on Twitter and it was not a safe place let's just say that but like I said thank you guys so much for watching have a good day and peace out